Hi everyone, so today I will be showing you the process on how I made this Totoro figurine. It is really really big as you can see compared to my hand. Recently I have picked up a Fimo air drying clay. This is the clay, it's called Fimo Air Light and the interesting thing about this clay is that it is microwavable and the reason I picked this clay up was because I, I saw Mia or Kawaii Charms 831 do a review on the clay and I thought it seemed pretty interesting so I thought I might as well try it I out. didn't actually film me sculpting this figurine but I did film um, I hope you enjoy this kind of random video. Hi everyone, so this is my like the base for the figurine. This is the tree stump. I'll make the Toshiro to go That's on. It'll look it. like when I've stuck it onto the um, tree stump. So as you can see, I molded it so it would fit on the tree stump and I've just been letting this air dry. It has eyes and As nose. you can see, there is a huge difference in size. Like it's a lot bigger. So I'm really not used to this kind of craft, like this kind of sculpting. Oh, I will be painting this now. So I just finished top, painting this. I didn't really bother with because you won't be able to see so most of the, the next top. day and I'm just about to paint the total. Yeah, but let's get started. So I'll stick Totoro onto here with super glue and then I will glaze it. So that's what I will do now. So the glaze is completely dry now and this is what it looks like. Um, I didn't glaze the bottom. Um, I probably will at some point just to stop I the paint. I will chipping. move my camera at a different angle so you can see it better. But yeah. So this is what Totoro looks like when he's sitting down. Hopefully you can see the details a bit better now that I'm holding the camera. So now I'm just going to say my thoughts on the um, Fimo Air Light microwave wall um, clay. This is a 250 gram block and I got this for £6.49 I think it was a hobby craft, something like that. I know it was in the £6 Also range. when I was trying to shape Totoro and everything I found it quite hard to quite hard to like get rid of the cracks in the clay and when I say that I mean when you take a piece off the block here and then like I think it, it I'm not sure if you can see but there's still like the seam here and it kind of cracks like this a little 
I'm not sure if that is because it the top of the block might be a little bit dry or if I needed to add water but I found it did become easier when I added water to the mixture so that's um, solved that it's easily. very easy to paint on the color really like stuck to the clay and I only had to do one coat I think I did I chose to do two coats but I could have easily got away with my more. choice of clay to work with all the time I think I will only use this for big stuff like I think it'll be great for clay pens as it is so really thank you for watching this um, kind of walkthrough of how I made this sorry I didn't show how I actually sculpted it but that would have been a bit different I hope See you enjoyed you it time. bye